look at designing parabolas example three. Let me grab my orange pen. So given the quadratic function x squared plus 2x minus 3, we're going to start by finding the axis of symmetry. So a is 1, b is 2, and c is negative 3. So we need to find x equals negative b, which is negative 2, over 2 times 1. So then that would just simplify to be negative 1. So if x equals negative 1 is our axis of symmetry, we go over to the graph and go ahead and plot that imaginary line that's going to help us put together the rest of our graph in just a minute. And then to find the vertex, you take your x value from your axis of symmetry and you plug it back into your original function to figure out the y. So that would be negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 minus 3 which will be 1 minus 2 minus 3, just cleaning up what we plugged in. So 1 minus 2 is negative 1, minus 3 is negative 4. So our vertex is going to be negative 1, negative 4. So let's plot that point. All right, and then let's go over here and look at these other steps to help with the rest of the graph. So picking out our y-intercept is just that last number in our function that we're given, the constant term. So negative 3 is our y-intercept. So that helps us go down 3 to put that on the graph. And then use the axis of symmetry to help you locate a third point on your graph. So that would help me notice that there's a mirror image point on the other side of that imaginary line. Then I can sketch my parabola. Looks like it's going upwards. I have a minimum vertex because it's the lowest point on my graph. And I just need to write domain and range. So domain for all the parabolas we're going to do in math two is all real numbers because your graph technically goes to the left and to the right forever. Those little arrows mean it's going to continue to go slightly to the left and slightly to the right. So that's why it's all real numbers for domain. Range is not quite the same because we do have a limit as to how far down our graph goes. Right here is the lowest point on our graph. And that is at y equals negative 4. So we have to say that our range would be all the points greater than or equal to negative 4. So it's not unlimited values for the range. You have to look at your vertex to help you pick it out. All right, so that's it for example three.